We back. So, this is another episode. R.O.P. You already know who it is. Ampa Valley. And I got my brother Joseph in the building. Good Lord. What? We going by government stuff? I always call you Joseph. Well, we got two Joes in the building, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, that shit caught me off guard. <laughs> Nigga I said Joseph, Joseph, boy. We got talking about hey. yeah, that one. We got, <laughs> we got the homie. Not that average Joe. He over there in the corner, man. <laughs> Chilling. Posted up. We was just talking about you on the episode yesterday, bro. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, man, we haven't done an interview in a while, man, but we had to uh, roll that back out, man. We got a special guest. Yo, Yo man, he just he told us he just started rapping three months. Three he already, months. He already <laughs> tearing the city up, man. Easy. So i like to introduce, man, Dirty Church yeah, in man. the building, man. What's Thank good? Thank y'all for having me. Thank yes, y'all sir. for having me. Yes, sir. Appreciate yes, sir. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. So that's good. So I, I was told because uh, you know Eric, right? Yeah, that's my boy, Eric. We so go yeah. way back. That's my man. So Joe, not your average Joe. Plug, go get your car detailed. He put me onto your music, and then Eric put me onto your shit all at the same time. Oh yeah, and they, that's what's up. Eric told me like you had like niggas didn't even know you was even rapping because I never rapped and I never <laughs> wanted to rap. I ain't never wanted to be a rapper. What never, made the switch once. for you? Uh. Them, honestly, everybody I was around, everybody hanging around. And I got a lot of homeboys who rap too. Mm. They just be like, "Bro, you live like a rapper. You need to rap." <laughs> I was always like, "Bro, I'm not a rapper. I never had rapper dreams." Like, yeah, mm. shit. I just said, "Fuck it. I'm gonna book a studio session." I booked one, pulled up, made a song, did raw, dropped it same night. <laughs> So when they say you live like a rapper, like what do they mean by that? <laughs> like late nights, they could call me, bro, where you at? I'm like, shit, I'm, well, what, what it is? And I'm at the studio, pull up. I'm like, all right, boom, I pull up to the studio. Them boys leave the studio five, six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, crazy times. Mm -hmm. They homeboys leaving who actually supposed to be with them. You feel me? They just in the city now and they my dog, so they hit me up to, you know what I'm saying, pull up. Mm. I sit in there with them all night at six o'clock in the morning, no problem. He be like, damn, boy, yo ass still here? I'm like, yeah, this shit where it's at. They be like, oh, yeah. Then, like, why they making their music? You know, I offer my help, this, this, that, and the third. And then they could see I love music. Anybody who see me listen to music, you could tell I love music. Yeah, right, you know what I'm right. saying? I listen to music different. I listen to a song 20 times. Yeah. Just to. Nah, I'm the same way, actually. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just like that. And then, you know, I be traveling, going out of town, doing this and like my lifestyle is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you be living the uh, exotic yeah. lifestyle, so they like, damn, you might as well just go ahead and rap about it. Exactly. They're like, you already got the aesthetic, so you might as well just go ahead and like, put the and pen And then the I paper. used to always say, because I used to try to rap in the studio, <sighs> yeah, but it never sound good, because I never really tried to rap. Yeah. But I never knew that until mm. I tried to rap. Yeah. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so I used to try and rap in the studio. I could never put nothing together. And I just went and booked the studio session on my own. I listened to a beat two times and the whole song came to me. Yeah. Like nothing. I couldn't believe that shit. Like that shit came to me like butter. Like when you in the zone, man, that's what it's like. Man, that shit, I couldn't believe that shit, how that shit came to me. I used to tell people that uh when you hear a beat, the song is already written for you. You just gotta find the words. You know what I'm saying? And and it sounds I could definitely vouch for that. You know what I'm saying? Like you definitely. just for the most part, you just waiting for them to come to you. You know what I mean? So absolutely, one hundred percent. And then I think, like, I got a different sound. For like, sure, I got, I got a lot of different sounds. Like I got a lot of different sounds I'm finna come with and introduce to the game. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like rapping is just something everybody could do. Yeah, you feel me? But I got way more shit for them. You feel me? Way more shit. I ain't gonna lie, you caught me off guard with one of your records on the project. Can we go ahead and jump into that? Yeah, come on, let's play it. All right, so uh, Smooth Operator. Uh, we were talking about it a little bit before we started recording, but that's one of my favorite tracks off the album, man. Yeah, that shit was fun. Yeah, yeah the hook that's crazy. Man. First time I played that shit, I had to run it back. <laughs> I say, hold up, man. Mm -hmm. I'm a smooth operator. Yeah, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That was probably the most funnest song I made. <laughs> I think I had everybody in the studio and I made that um like an hour. Cause I had everybody there. 
And right. it'd be easier for me when I'm with my with my with my team, you feel me? Go out the vibe. Cause I record out the booth. Mm. I don't be in the booth and record. Like I sit right here and have them behind me and record. Right. Okay. I might say what I say, turn that bitch up, hey, y'all fucking with that. You feel me? Yeah. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So that that shit be helping me. And then everybody was deaf vibing with it. You feel me? Everybody. Every time I turn around, everybody like, well, you hard, but you snapping, you feel me? Yeah. All that shit be motivation. People for need sure. that for, for sure. sure. You yeah. feel me? And especially in the yoga. Well, it's so easy to get stuck. So easy. 100%. That shit, that, shit, it was, that was fun, boy. That smooth operator. That's probably like one of my favorite. Uh, yeah, that's probably one of my favorite songs. I definitely yeah, say that's that. my Top favorite, three. That's my favorite song to tell you. I Top feel like three that for shit. Sure. I feel like to be honest that like that got potential. It really does. It that really shit, does. That shit really got me on um, a lot of buzz in the city. I can Once believe I that. I dropped the trailer to that mm. and then Duval promo posted it. I was getting followers like this. I think I did like 30,000 views on that one. <laughs> that's what's up. For, for real, yeah. On Duval promo page? Yeah. That's what's up. But yeah, on my on my page, them bitches do 30 they self too. Yeah. Yeah, we're well, looking at the saying? YouTube right now. Like, yeah. you got a ton of views on the YouTube, man. You're man killing I'm trying it. to tell you. And then I'm just trying to stay consistent, stay in their face. Right. Consistency is the most important thing in this rap shit. Got to stay in their face. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep my music relevant. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people fall behind because they may have a good tape, and then they stop making music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what happened a lot in the city. Cause I listen to the music in the city a lot. You feel me? And I feel like we got a lot of talent here, but a lot of our talent go to race because they'll make one tape or make a couple songs, and then stop. So I actually saw an Instagram reel about that today, and what it is is, I mean, I feel like this resonates with a lot of people. A lot of uh, you know, rappers early on, they they start out by comparing themselves, of course, you know what I mean, to people that are already in the industry, you know, hey, if I had this opportunity, I'd be better, right? Absolutely. We can be hubris, which is overly confident. And in that regard, I think that when you met with adversity, you know, because you you face with all kinds of challenges chasing music, um, it it can be stifling, you know, and for a lot of people it's hard to bounce back from for sure. Definitely. Well, I always had a lot of confidence, you feel me? I think that's taking me far in this rap shit, you feel me? Like, I'm so confident in myself. Right. Not, I not only, I don't feel like I'm better than a lot of rappers, but I feel like I'm more different, you feel me? Okay. And I know I could stay consistent, and I know what it takes. My mm -hmm. work ethic different. Ain't nobody rapping as, more, as much as me. Straight ain't up. nobody recording as much as me. Straight right now, up. I guarantee you, ain't nobody recording as much as me. Two weeks in, I went and bought my own studio. Right, right. You feel me? And I still go to the studio every night. Yeah. I learned how to record myself three weeks in. I record every day during the day while I'm working. Mm -hmm. And at night when I'm off work, I go record at the real studio. Yeah, that's some real me? shit. then got to the point where I don't even like listen to nobody else's music. Mm -hmm. In my free time, I try to like listen to other sounds because listening to myself get Know what I'm saying? What's the word I'm trying to look for? Um, it can be redundant at times. You know, you hear the same tones and things like that. So not redundant, but I start saying the same thing. I start repeating myself in my words, in my oh. songs. So I have to change my sound up. So I have to go listen to R and B. I have mm -hmm. to go listen to rock music. Yeah. I have to go listen to soul music. I like to listen to female music. Cause yeah, it's, real, it's real passionate, right? Yeah, obviously you listen to R and B because that smooth operator, that's Sade. So come on, yeah, you gotta you gotta be real well versed in your music and whatnot. I ain't gonna lie, that smooth operator, that's just, it was just the beat for me. Mm. I don't even think it's just no R. It was just the beat. As soon as it came on, I said I'm a smooth operator, and then my voice so raspy. You see how the rasp caught my operator. voice in this mic. <laughs> Imagine with that auto tune on. I said, oh yeah, that's hard. I'm fucking with that. Straight up. Then they was behind me and the fuel kept going. Yeah, man, Definitely. Man. Salute to the homies. So um, you said nobody outworking you. Like, so like even before rap, did you have that, that work ethic where like and anything Eric, you did, like you exactly. had to work hard at it? And that's another thing they used to say. Like, boy, you go hard. Mm. Whatever I do, I'm gonna go hard in 120%, 150%. Straight up. I'm going to go and put my all into it. I don't have to do nothing. That's a problem, but it's also, a, you know what I'm saying, a benefit. Yeah. Of me. Why do you think it's a problem? Because sometimes putting your all into everything, you might not get your all back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, definitely. I think we all put our um put too much attention into something yeah. and it just didn't it didn't didn't work out pretty much. That's all I'm saying. Like you yeah. put some, sometimes putting too much of your time into one thing hinders you from doing everything else. Mm -hmm. I feel you. But you don't want to half ass nothing. So I'm like the same, I'm pretty much the same way. Like I done put my all into something and it didn't work out, but I like on to hey, the at least one. I tried. Fuck it. At least right. I tried. On right. to the next one. <coughs> yeah, you don't want to be one. Yeah, you don't want to be one of them niggas that just like don't get y'all to anything. But that's right. that's dope. You said fuck it. If I'm a rap, I'm gonna actually rap. I'm come with the. You got the visuals. That's what I told everything. That's why I, I said we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this shit right. I'm gonna still I, like I take my time with this shit. I do everything. Yeah. I got my cameraman and my engineer. Yeah. And my producers. Other than that, everything on me. I make all my audios, all these uploads, I do all that shit myself. I feel sure. that, yeah. All these motherfucking promo, I do that shit myself. I reach out to these promo uh, platforms myself. Yeah. Some of the motherfuckers don't even write me back. Some of the motherfuckers be like, $2,500 a post. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, what the fuck, nigga? 20, nigga, your shit got 20K views. Nigga, right, my right. shit got 20K views. What the fuck is Right, right. Why tripping? would I pay you 20K? Yeah. I, why I fuck 20, with Duval 20. promo. Shout out to Duval promo, man. A lot of people be talking shit about Duval promo, but that boy is grinding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he not taxing. Y'all, y'all tripping, man. That boy don't be taxing. They be a lot of people throw slack on him because he try to people like you say. People feel like they better mm -hmm. than the next person, mm -hmm. and oh, you give them free promo because they famous. Right. I'm better. I should get free promo, mm -hmm. but nothing's free in this world. Right. Nothing and not just free. that. I think people oxygen not even free. They sell you oxygen. Talk to them. I think that artists do have to understand there are a lot of relationships that people have that go unseen. You might be, in this instance, rather, you know, Joe, Eric, you know, vouch for you, you know what I mean? And that created a relationship through us to where someone off the street might not have that same encounter. We, not, we might not have ever heard of them musically. What's the motivation? When I go to your page, I'm not seeing 20,000 views. I'm not seeing, you know, you as consistent and things like that. What's the motivation for me to say, I want to bring you on? You know, a lot of artists don't understand that. A lot of people don't work, too. Like, they don't put the, they don't put the grind in. You got to put the grind in, man. This shit. Man, this shit done took over my life. 100%. Everything that I used to do, I don't do no more. Yeah. I rap 100%. That's all I got time to do. Straight up. Feel me? Straight up. When it comes to recording, buying beats, reading motherfucking licensing, mm -hmm. reading contracts, mm -hmm. finding motherfucking shit for uh, album covers, all that, right. I have to do on my own. So yeah. I don't really have time to do anything else. Every day I'm researching something, trying to better my craft. Mm -hmm. So, man, this shit, to, if you ain't trying to put your all into this shit, don't feel like somebody going to just give you a handout. Straight up. Yeah, I feel you. So um, when you got into the, like the rap game and whatnot, like what's like one of the biggest surprises you encountered? Like what's something you ain't you didn't expect? Boy, these niggas be hating. <laughs> yeah, they do. Boy, they these do. niggas be hating so bad, bro. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Like I never been a hater. I never been a hating type. I will always give a person that credit. Motherfuckers will hate you because of relationships that they have with someone else. Mm -hmm. And that be so crazy to me. But I won't let that stop me, though. That's that's about it, though. Yeah. Everything else I kind of like expect. Like I told you, I was 100% prepared for this. My mama got a music background, so I kind of got a little inside mm. scoop on the music world. Mm -hmm. So like being, being, that's why I say doing all this shit, it's not hard for me, because I can do it. Right. But it take my time. Yeah, 100%. You feel 100%. Me? All that other shit can be distracting. All that <coughs> other shit can be distracting. Yeah, definitely. And that shit true. definitely can, though, because 100% focusing on rap and keeping me out of the way. And that's the best thing to be right now. Definitely. Um, so let's backtrack a little bit, man. So I don't even think we asked, like, where you was from and whatnot. Nah, so not at all. Let's get, yeah, we had to jump straight into it, man, because I just fought with the music heavy. <laughs> it's so a lot, like, man. It, we man. Vibing, it's good, so, it's uh, good. Let's just go, let's backtrack, man. Just let's talk about your childhood, where you were born and raised and whatnot. Shit, Jacksonville, Florida. I'm from Jacksonville, Northside, shit. If you don't know me, you, you probably know so me. I heard about me. That's <laughs> one more tally for him. Shit, I had a regular childhood, man. The regular, the average childhood in Jacksonville. Y'all yeah. know how it go. 
Everybody go through adversity. Everybody got problems, but shit, I'm here. You from a legendary family, though. Yeah. One Shout of the, out to my mama. One of the best rib places in Jacksonville, man. Let's yeah. talk about Holly's. Holly's Bar. Okay. Cake. Go get that. Go get that. Yeah. And them brownies still the best in Jacksonville. And the cake's still the best in Jacksonville. <laughs> Do not be fooled. I'm going to be we honest. We still got the best cake in Jacksonville. We still got the best brownies in Jacksonville. And we still got the best curly fries in Jacksonville. Oh, yeah. Them curly fries. All right. I done lost friends as uh, <coughs> as of late because I ain't never tried Holly's. I don't really? be on the north side like that. Not, not, not The eating. next interview, I don't eat. Yeah. we going to have pans of chicken in this bitch. <laughs> Pans of ribs, pans of whatever. Straight up, straight up. I got you. <laughs> hey, look, I ain't All had that. it. Uh, I hear nothing but good things. They say, "Yo, y'all the best barbecue in the city." I've yeah, heard man. that too many times now. I Since give you that. Since 1937, that's a third generation barbecue, man. Straight up, first black owned business in Jacksonville. Mm. Do your research. Talk, Talk your shit. shit. Yeah, Talk your shit. Me. Cause shit, I done had every other. You know, I done had Jenkins. I done been to what? Uh, Jerome, Jerome Brown, Browns, yeah. Fucking with Holly's, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'm going to have to check Holly's out, man. So Come on. out there and slide your way. So growing up um, with a, in a legendary uh, <laughs> business like that, man, like, did you, like, any, like, other, like, entrepreneurship, like, skills rub off on you? Um, shit. I am an entrepreneur right now. Yeah, I'm saying like but, you pretty much like grew up into this. How shit. did that influence you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that's I feel like that's what gave me the work ethic that I have now. Cause when I was a kid, like I had the average childhood, but it wasn't really average. I had to, you know, what I'm saying, go to work after school. Right. Yeah. I didn't play sports. You feel me? I didn't. I didn't like. I wanted to play sports, but I never really like love sports to the point where I'm finna go fucking tackle a nigga. <laughs> I'm not finna do that. I love bitches. Well, that's <laughs> funny as hell. <laughs> Straight up. So boom. I had to go to work every day after school. Right. But that made me love money. Because mm -hmm. I used to get paid every day. Yeah. So every day in school, shit, over the summers I worked. So mm -hmm. when I came back to school, I always had a whole bunch of money. You yeah. hear me? Yeah. I always had a whole bunch of money. I was the type of kid. Uh, I have five girlfriends. I'm buying all their ass lunch. Um, I'm to go to the snack line. Whatever y'all want. You yeah, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. You feel me? So that gave me the work ethic. And then shit, not being lazy. I had to, on weekends, I had to go to work. Nine o'clock every morning. Nine to nine. I worked grown man schedule when I was a kid. 35 yeah. hours a week. Yeah. And go to school. Yeah. Like I was in school, in college type <laughs> shit. You feel me? So my mama is still got to, got to be a man, got to. Be responsible, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So definitely the work ethic. And then shit, responsibilities. Cause it was times when my mama had to go out of town, handle mm -hmm. her business, and she had to rely on me and my brother. You see what I'm saying? And it was times when my brother was gone and I was the only one around. So I had to be responsible enough to wake up on time, go set up the shop, go open up the register, make sure the money in the register, make sure the pit set, make sure the fry zone, make sure everything how it's supposed to be. I was 16 doing this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So taught me responsibilities, putting what, handling what you got to do first. Fun come out. Though. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what's pushing me in this rap thing too. Yes, I'm trying to yeah. you know what I'm saying. Get right with this, but have the fun later. Right, Definitely. Right. So like, yeah. So pretty much your life was like a van. So like, you were pretty much a man at 16, pretty much. So shit, I was done. I was working since I was 11 years old. Oh shit, even before then. When yeah. I turned 11 years old, my mama was like, you able to come work now? Cause I wanted to go to work. It's not like, cause my brother went to work, but he played football too and yeah. went to work. So he had it twice No hard. time, yeah. You <laughs> feel me? He ain't had no summers or nothing. <laughs> I would tell y'all this story. I tell y'all, I don't care about this shit. Y'all like, <laughs> what is shit crazy? But, um, shit, yeah, I was working since I was 11 and it started like that. Right. Cause you no, know, my mom, the owner, so it wasn't like no working until you just finna do this. No, nigga, you finna learn to do everything. Right, right. One day this gonna be yours. Yeah, you feel me? That's yeah, what that's, she, like, that's exactly how. That's the exact what she said. You gonna know how to do everything because one day this is gonna be yours. Yeah, that's what's up. And that's how that went. All right. So when you had decided to rap, man, did your uh, family like embrace it? Were they okay with it? Yeah. Cause okay. honestly, my mama wanted me to rap a long time ago. Okay. My mama asked me to rap. <laughs> oh, cause like, she knew you love music. Like when I when I got out of school, like eighteen years old. <laughs> yeah. Like I told you, she got a little um, music background mm. with um, Strong on Mr. Label in Miami. 
It's our family. I heard so, uh, yeah, I go down there and record sometimes with them all the time and my people. My own. When I got out of school, she called me. She was like, you want to be a rapper? I'm like, no, nah, I ain't never wanted to be no rapper. Like I told you, I never wanted to rap. It was never no dream of mine. Right, right. She's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah. She was like, well, Freezy trying to get you to rap. They say, if you want to come to Miami, you come stay however long you want, and you can just rap every day. I'm like, all right, mama, I'd rather go to work and make money. I ain't yeah, gonna make yeah. no money doing that, you feel me? I yeah. was trying to get some money. I right. was broke as hell, you feel me? She was like, well, all right. And that was like six, seven years ago, you feel me? And it's life come around full circle. Yeah. Now I wanna rap, now I'm rapping. Straight up. Yeah. So any of the songs on your project, was that like one of the first songs you recorded? Or do you even remember the first song you recorded? The first song I recorded is I Ain't Average. Okay. That's what it's called, that's what the file called. <laughs> on, on YouTube it's called I Ain't Average. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yup, I could face a hundred and I ain't average. I could send them bitches out of town, they coming back with double baggage. My amigo hit me up, he said what's happening. Uh -huh. Yeah. I did that all freestyle too. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I heard the beat, I said, oh yeah, I could do this. <laughs> this shit easy. Right, right. That was too easy. Yeah. Punch me in. Went right back in. <laughs> Straight up. That shit was too easy. Hold up, Joe. Well shit, I think this is actually a good segue point to uh get into uh one of these videos yeah on, let's do we'll let's do uh it. we'll do no conversation first yeah 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 right, let's get into it so my right. favorite video if kimboy ain't shoot it ain't shot right. shout out to kimboy that's my boy yeah look yeah these niggas be internet and I ain't got no time for no conversation You gotta watch how you move these fuck niggas They'll have you interrogation I gotta watch how I move these bitch niggas I don't want no affiliation I'm stuck in racks in the ventilation I'm feeling shawty, I tell her get with it Let's fly out and go get affiliated Hold on the shawty, I've been the greatest They call me dirty, I'm not like your other nigga That's a fact, keep it pivot, baby Pull out right now, come get situated Might fly out to Cali and fold with my amigo as Liddy That nigga just bought some acres Dirty curry, I pull up, no hesitation Dirty curry, I pull up, hop out and face it. And I ain't got no time for no sucker shit I'm all out of the city with hundreds and fifties Lil' baby don't know who she fucking with That case take a 50, we spot him, we get him Lil' buddy hop out and don't fucking miss Hop, 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 that nigga go right now Go get him Lil' buddy done caught him a headshot Two to the chest, one to the leg, one to the neck and he dead now Skirt, skirt I'm pulling off, it's a murder scene I swap the tag, I switch the tag. I know for a fact they won't notice me I know for a fact cause I'm so discreet My amigo, he steady be calling me I got a bad bitch in here sucking dick on her knees while I'm wearing peas. She suck me good fly overseas. She blow a bat while I'm blowing trees. I gotta stay away yeah. from these snitch niggas. Yeah. They be telling and coming, yeah. please. These niggas be internet. And I ain't got no time for no conversation. You gotta watch how you move these fuck niggas. They'll have you interrogation. I gotta watch how I move these bitch niggas. I don't want no affiliation. I'm stuck in racks in the ventilation. I'm feeling shawty, I tell her get with it. Let's fly out and go get affiliated. Hold on, little shawty, I've been the greatest. They call me dirty, I'm not like your other nigga. That's a fact, keep it pivot, baby. Pull out right now, come get situated. Might fly out to Cali and fold with my amigo as Liddy. That nigga just bought some acres. Dirty curry, I pull up, no hesitation. Dirty curry, I pull up, hop out and face him. Dirty Curry, I pull up, hop out and face him. Dirty Curry, I pull up, hop out and face him. Yeah, that bit froze, but like, what's the uh, story behind the video? Bro, that's the thing. They keep telling me I need to plan my videos. <laughs> I just straight. You run a gun. My cameraman called me like, bro, you want to shoot today? I be like, yeah, this one I'm at, pull up right now. We yeah. finna shoot right now. <laughs> That's what my video is like. I don't never have like clothes on. I just white tee. This, this yeah, yeah. that'd be like what I had on the day. Yeah, yeah. My videos be what I had on the day. I just, I just straight. You like you want to shoot? I be like, yeah, shit. Let's shoot right now. Where you at? Yeah. Pull up here. We finna shoot it. You be like, what song you want to shoot? I be like, shit. I don't know. Let's go through them bitches and pick one. I mean, he definitely mm -hmm. shot it well. It go with the record and whatnot. Um, planning them out. You know. That could be this is my favorite video because we did so many like this this video really I rest them. 
Like I'm like, bro, I need this bit back. I ain't dropped no music, in, I ain't dropped no videos in too long, and I ain't got no project out for people to just listen to my music. So right. I need to keep dropping videos. Right. I need this bit back quick. But it's a lot of scenes left out of this video. Like yeah. we shot this video, Moncrief, Audis, you feel me? Um, back of some buildings, uh, in the back of the gap. Like it's a lot of scenes that didn't make the video. Right. But right. We're gonna use them for another video, of course. Yeah. yeah. But because I rushed them, it's missing a lot. But that was a. Because like I said, I said, just pull up. And everybody who was there, we just shot. Yeah, jumped in the video. Exactly. Yeah, the video was good. So um, you say you, pre or do, let me ask you, do you prefer to just do run and gun instead of, because sometimes, man, sometimes some songs don't even need like a full script. Some Yeah, I feel like that with rap songs. Time. With a rap song, like your video just need to be um, attention capturing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. With a rap song, especially if you got a catchy song. Yeah. You Everybody ain't Kendrick Lamar. You, you just need to make something that people want to just keep looking at. Because yeah, at this yeah. point in the world, people get dumbfounded with what they see on the internet. Right. So if you make something that's visually appealing, they want to keep watching it. And sometimes videos don't always fit to the song. So it's, rather, it's best to just run and gun. But I got another style of music that's going to be more scripted videos. That go to the song. You see you about to start saying? singing on niggas. Yeah, feel me. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel me. Hey, looking forward to that, man. So, uh, in the music game, like, what's some of your uh, inspirations? Um, shit, I can't lie, bro. I listen to like five rappers, bro. I listen to, like five people, bro. Just five only. Um, well, I listen to everybody in the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I listen to the people like. The city music a lot, because I know a lot of people. Right. Yeah. And a lot of people want to rap. You know, how the youth is, a lot of niggas want to rap. So I know a lot of niggas, so I be listening to their music, because niggas talented. I can't even lie. And then that music kind of be better than the more mainstream music, because it be real pain, like right, real right. shit. Yeah. It be time, real yeah. stories, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Whereas mainstream music, they just trying to make a fucking hit. You know what I'm saying? But as far as big artists, like my favorite artists is like, for for sure, my favorite artist would be Bootsy. Bootsy, okay. Because legend, you know what I'm saying. Not really that new shit. He be fucking tripping. Yeah, I don't. But know. that old shit. And then pre jail. Two, two, of course, we gotta go YB and Kodak. And then shit, everything else from there is more like Rod Way. All right, so like some people in the city, like ins like inspiration wise, or who you like in the city. Um, or even somebody you want to work with in the city right now i ain't really working with nobody right now mm. not not no knock on nobody in the city that's for you just because i'm in my own little lane right now and i feel like a lot of people want to get in my recording room see how that shit be like right <laughs> right right you don't want Man, nobody uh you know stealing your sauce <laughs> this, shit, this shit sauced up you feel me so i can't give away the game right now but um who you fucking with though in the city let me see. Should I fuck with Bari? That's my boy. He just dropped too. I fuck with Spook. It's a, it's a nigga named RR Spook. His tape go hard as fuck. I can't lie. Um, who else? I can't think of bro name. He a little red dude. What's his name? Rishi? Uh, Reese Montana, he go yeah. hard too. That's my boy. Yeah, Reese go. That nigga Reece. little, that nigga tall as fuck. Reese yeah. go crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you feel me? Um, I know of a little little red nigga out in out of Tally. I can't think of his name, but Young he be nigga. on some singing shit type. But yeah, okay. he hard too. But shit, I I I try to listen to everybody, bro. I try to be on the blog pages to get everybody a chance. You know what I'm saying? But shit, once I get all the sounds that I want to get out, I'm gonna do a feature with everybody, yeah. for free. That's what's okay. Everybody be trying to tax on the on the features. So. That I don't up. I don't even understand that shit, man. If you ain't got like, if it costs, ain't, it costs to make a song. It's not free to record. True indeed, but if a nigga paying for the studio time and all you gotta do is pull up, what if the song asks? I respect that. Now that I respect wholeheartedly, but why even do it? Because he paying you. Nigga better be paying a lot. Niggas be doing features for like gotta, two, three hundred dollars. You gotta know your value. I feel that. I mean, I'm. I just look at it and say this. 
Personally, I got features. I didn't pay for none because I got them off personal relationships. Right, right, right. But them boys rap for real. And I told them, like, bro, you know, if you want something for the future, I got you because I already know how this shit go. Because at the end of the day, this is a business. You can't mix business but let with me ask friendships. This. Does that feature put you any further than you than you putting yourself? Absolutely. Because you got to think, when you get a feature from somebody with more attention than you, in that regard, you their I'm platform. talking about when networking amongst artists in the city that ain't on that level. Um, well, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay that. I wouldn't pay that. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Keep it all the way real. That's with what you. I'm saying. Yeah, I be seeing sure. niggas trying to charge niggas, then they at the same level. Two three hundred dollars and shit, and I'm like, yo, instead of charging that nigga, y'all both should be trying to put that into marketing. Well, into the video. If or, he if he trying to charge him, you know, a lot of everybody's situation different. For somebody indeed. for somebody to go make for somebody to go put their verse down, it costs them. You know what I'm saying? So if I was to do a song with you, I would go record my song, put my verse down, put my chorus down, however the situation gonna be, and I would send it over to you. Right. And, unless we record it together. Right. Yeah, but that's going to cost either me or you. So, so somebody's going to pay. So look, in that regard, again, I get it. Now, if I holler at you and I say, yo, Dirty, I want to get a feature. Now, right now, my videos is doing around the same numbers as yours. I ain't saying they're as good as yours. They doing around the same numbers, well, right? I'm going to tell you how I play that situation. Right. If I didn't know you. If right, I right. didn't know you, I'd be like, let me hit a song. Feel me? Again, that and I that's respect how you, whole whole and That's how you judge that. Right. Once now, somebody could be like if he be like, oh, well, we just gonna cook it all together, I'll probably turn it down. Tell you the truth. Yeah, cause that might be some bullshit. Cause you might be on some bullshit. I don't know how the fuck what the fuck you, you might want. end up spending eight hours in the studio and not producing Either. shit. Cause I done been in the studio with somebody, it take them um five hours to do their verse. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I would have walked out that motherfucker. I make three songs in five hours. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm trying to tell you. You never know the situation. Somebody go record a verse, and he charging you 300. But he he may be charging you just 300 because I'm just gonna pay the studio just 300 and pay this 300 to get it bit mastered, mm -hmm. and that's that. You see what I'm saying? I ain't even charging you. Just pay for this. Right. But it exactly. don't. It ain't coming off like that because he's saying pay me 300. Right. You know right. What I'm right. So everybody's situation be different. And now that I'm in this shit, I know that. Cause at first I used to feel exactly how you feel. Like them, like y'all boys on the same level. What the fuck you mean? Mm. But then when I see like everything costs. Now again, I, I definitely understand, you know, like you say, it's different situations. You know what I mean? I just say this, not everyone is at the level to be charging. You know what For I mean? Sure. So that's where For I think. Sure. That's, but that's I why think, I say I'ma just um, cause um I feel like it's a lot of it's a lot of disconnections in the city. Like it's a lot of conflict. Too I don't much. have no conflict Too with much. nobody. Yeah. So I can do features with everybody. Yeah. You feel me? Whoever wanna do a feature, come on, let's lock in. When I get it out, I'm gonna make a post like, hey, for two weeks I'm doing features with whoever wanna do a feature. Right. Send me a song. If I like it, I'm gonna put a verse on that bit. Right. Yeah, that's the best that's a good way to blow up too. If and that's 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 just, that's my promo strategy too. Right. You feel me? Cause that's gonna get me a, that's gonna get me into everybody fan base. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I know I'm a snap. Yeah. That, that's that's my that's my whole thing. Like I know I'm hard. I know my music fire. Right. So I know I can do free features. It's gonna benefit me at the end of the day. Some people don't feel like that. That's why they wanna charge. You know what I'm saying? They're that's why they're gonna be stuck where they at too. Exactly, and that's that's how I look at it. I mean, you charging people and you taking away from your blessings. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And not even to say it like, by you charging them, you robbing yourself. I just look at it to say, when you know you getting over on a nigga, like it's different yeah. to tell a nigga, hey, I'm 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 finna charge you for the studio time. I got to. But I, I learned that pay. the music is a finesse game. That's oh, all yeah, it is. That's a, that's you all know, it is. Who, that's what they try. Man, like. presentation is everything. If I look like I'm worth money, you gonna pay money. You know what I'm saying? So not even that. Just like motherfucking from every from every level to the shit, man. For example, when I first got into the game, you know what I'm saying. I always thought, man, I gotta buy my beats. You know what I'm saying? I can't drop it without buying my beats. I knew I didn't have to buy it outright, that I had to buy a lease, right. but it's different type of leases, right? So I had a producer, I ain't gonna say his name, but I had a producer who was supposed to sell me a lease, or, but he knew I was fresh in the rap game and I didn't know what the fuck I talking about because I wrote him, I was like, I need this type beat 
wait, no, actually, I need this type beat. He like, you want this, or this, this, or this, this, that, this, this, that, and the third. Explaining to me what it was, but not explaining to me what it was. Basically, I ended up paying like $300 for a beat that I only needed to pay $50 for. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And he knew he finessed me. You feel me? And he waited. Then, the $300 did pay for the beat. Like, that shit ain't even like, man, there's limitations on the contract. You mm -hmm. feel me? It's just supposed to be an unlimited. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be able to do whatever with this beat. Especially for $300. You see what I'm saying? That's not nothing, bro. Beats are high as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you might, for an exclusive, he, a beat, he a might beat, have been charging five times that. A beat yeah. just for you and nobody else could get on? 5000 $2,500, yeah. $1,500. Yeah. See, I don't rap, so I don't know. Starting out, yeah. that's why I say music, it costs. I'm going to tell you the first time I got finessed. So when I used to rap, niggas was hitting amp up thinking he was me, right? <laughs> Uh, you remember when KE on the track uh, hit you up? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That nigga was like, yo, look, I fuck with your music. I don't even know how I came across it, but it, it stumbled onto my desk, man. I love this shit, right? I done produced for Justin Bieber, Raven Simone, you know, dog, he naming uh, Future, you know what I'm saying? Like, this was early, though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that time, yeah, Magic. That Future song, Magic. Yep, yep. Time. So, he was he was just listing all the artists. He was like, "Yo, look, I want to do a record with you. Come to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Yada yada." Nigga was like, "I was like, bet shit, say less. I'll be there, you know, over the weekend or whatever." Nigga was like, "I right, bring five thousand dollars with you." <laughs> I was like, "Nigga, ain't you say you want to work with me?" Like that's how that shit be. That's they how wait shit the be. hook line and sink of you. You know what I'm everybody saying? Everybody be wanting they bag. Right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. And again, I get it. You know what I mean? Um, Nigga like me would've went be, up there anyway. But it also be people who well, who will surprise you. It's a joke at that time. Cause I done met motherfuckers who don't know me from a grain of salt. I don't right. know them. And they offer me the best advice. So much help, so much knowledge. I get my, my music getting played on the radio in Vegas. A, a, a dude heard my song on a promo web, on a little promo page I paid for, emailed me. It was like, hey, my name's David Hart, such and such. Shoot me an email. I hit him up, tested my phone number, called me on FaceTime immediately. Yeah. He said, bro, um, I'm the owner of such and such, Heartbreak Radio, Las Vegas. Yeah. That's his name of the radio if you want to go listen. I be on that every day, all day. They got all my music. They spend <laughs> me all the time. They fuck with me. <laughs> I got West Coast music too. Yeah. I sent him all my West Coast songs, like West Coast sounds. Right. He wrote me off of, um, I did a little, did I release that song? No, I can't say the name of it. So it's a Triller though, it's on Instagram. You gotta go watch it. Um, he wrote me on that Triller. He was like, man, I love your sound. Asking like, when did you start rapping? And that's when I started rapping like a month. I, 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 I was like, shit, a month ago, you feel me? He like, damn, for real? Like, yeah, he like, man, I'm this and that. I help this artist get seen, this artist get seen, man, I can show you. I'm in my office right now, turn around, motherfucking gold. Plats all over the wall. You feel me? He like, man, you got you got you got everything that it takes. You see what I'm saying? All you gotta do is keep working. You know what I'm saying? This shit don't happen overnight for everybody. I know you see a lot of artists blowing up overnight. It don't happen overnight for everybody. You just gotta keep working, keep trying. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I wanna play your music on my radio station. That's okay with you. I'm like, hell yeah, that's okay. What the fuck? He like, yeah, shit. Um, and shit, I play whatever song you want. All you gotta do is just send it to my email. You feel me? Yeah. And that's free. For free. Yeah. And this man reached out to me from all the way across the world. Mm -hmm. Well, America, all the way across the country. Yeah. You feel me? And I don't know this man from nothing. But I try to get my music played on the radio here. <sighs> know how hard that is? Gotta jump through hoops. Know how hard that is? Trust me, I don't, I don't been there. <laughs> that shit crazy. <laughs> That's just crazy. Salute to him, bro. He real for real. Yeah, he straight up. Like, yep, David Hart. That's my guy. Salute, salute. So let's get into your name and your branding, man. How did you get the name Dirty Church? Oh um, shit, I got it at the barbecue stand. Oh God, I was just working and I just picked up the name over time. And I just ran with it. I liked it because it's every time somebody hear it, they be like, "Why they call you Dirty Church?" <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. And I got a saying, like, why they call you Dirty Church? You feel me? So I just ran with it. Really too much of nothing behind it. This was a, what was the first person that called you that? Um, It was a goddamn baser. 
<laughs> on the side That's of the so building. Ass, man. Hell yeah. He passed away though. Right, rest in peace, huh, man. Salute. Yeah, That's man. dope, man. Now he gave you that name. Yeah. And it yeah. stuck with you. Yeah, for real. Uh, yeah. I, I, I really picked it up when he died. How old were you? Um, I was like maybe like 17, 16. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was kind of older. Yeah, he just came out of nowhere. He just said, Dirty Church. Because, nah. Well, we always go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He'd be outside all the time. So yeah. just conversation back and forth. And then I forget the conversation that we had. He just happened to say, I'm gonna call you Dirty Church. Yeah, man, and that's how that went. You feel me? And I just ran with that. I laughed it off. Yeah. But after he passed away, it was like a weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know so I just kept going. Stay with, with you, yeah. 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 All right, dope. so let's talk about the project first Sunday, man. So uh if somebody didn't hear it. Hear this project, somebody just watching the interview for the first time, somebody just stumbled across us on YouTube, Spotify, wherever you can find our shit. What songs would you recommend off that project they, that they listen to? Sounds Club. First yeah, song. Sounds yeah, Club. yeah. Sounds Club. <coughs> and uh, if you really want to know me personally, on a personal level, go listen to 200 for a new ass. <laughs> you talk about that, man. You ever, yeah, you yeah. ever bought a BBL, my brother? You ever paid for an ass before? Nah, nah, I ain't having no ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a song. Yeah, it's just a song. That's yeah. just music. I just be, it's all music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything I see in my music is all music. Yeah. You hear me? Man, you better be careful, man. Hit, 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 hit. I heard that song, 200 for an ass. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hey, man, people be asking me about that all. They be like, well, you can buy ass for $200. I'd be like, that ain't what that mean, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. <laughs> that is not what that mean. My mama even said something to me about it. She like, who you buying asses out here? I'm like, mama, <laughs> that, that's music, mom. I'm like, mama, it's a secret. I, I can't tell you. You feel me? <laughs> Yeah, well, BBL uh, 200, that's like the down payment. Yeah. That's like the consultation, pretty much. Yeah, that's 200? it. 200? What? No yeah, consultation? What? No 200 for no consultation? You need that half a payment. Yeah, <laughs> you get you get free consultation. You put 200 down. You know you getting something else yeah, two, in that ass. 200 might be parking. What? Yeah, that 200 ain't, ain't going to cover shit. Ain't that how to? It ain't. Uh, it ain't, but if you love it, it's worth it. If you love her, it's worth yeah, it. I gotta be deep in love. Well, I'm talking about I years. gotta be drunk in love, <coughs> nigga. Like, let's drunk. take a shot. <laughs> gotta be drunk in love. <laughs> like, nigga. Yeah, let me go over my favorite tracks, man. So, 200 for a new ass. Smooth operator. Wholesale. New plug. Go a marathon also. You like marathon? Yeah. yeah. Everybody like marathon. That's that's crazy. That's been, that's, that's, that's a fan favorite. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Favorite. I get like 10 DMs every morning about that song. That marathon go crazy. And in seven days, I get my stats. But I think that's probably my most listened to song. Mm. And that's because of them, though. My Like my homeboy, they listen to that bitch all day. Yeah. Like my homeboy, but that nigga listen to my tape all day. That's all he listened to. I <laughs> love that nigga for that, boy. Something. I told I said, boy, you're gonna be the reason I blow. I tell you yeah. straight up. Every day, all day. So that's just like that's the one you get the most feedback from? Marathon. Marathon, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say marathon is is top tier, but double that did did you mention double that? No, I didn't mention that one. Double that hard, bro. Yeah. You had a Devin Hester line that yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nigga. They call me dirty Devin Hester Jr. I keep on running back. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. My boy Joe told me, said I need to do a little uh challenge for the for the people, say if they could come up with however many dirty name changes I came up with in the tape. We're gonna give out a uh, prize for it. Oh, that's what's up, man. So I'm gonna do that. Need a prize also for how many times you mentioned the honey pack. Yeah, boy, you honey, was going crazy honey with the pack honey dirty. Pack. I'm the reason the honey pack's big in the city. That's, know that. That's hey, crazy. Man. I turned the honey packs up. That's hey. But I'm gonna tell you, I don't even take honey packs like that. I hate like how I talk about it. Oh, uh, I would hope not, cause but you don't want to be dependent on them. But they help nah, out. Nah, well, I heard but, it. I haven't. But tried. you got you got them times where yeah. you know you with that motherfucker who you say, yeah, Yo, I get that motherfucker. So. <laughs> I'm I'm a show. Her. Yeah. 100% dirty. 100%. All the way. 
Hey man, I hadn't seen a picture of like Ashanti like the other day. It was like her 42nd birthday or some shit. And she was looking good as fuck on the beach. I was like, yeah, I might need 200 packs for that. That's my bro, my brother taking the bitches to it. on socks. All right, bro, you have to bring that up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't feet so goddamn man, I got a, I got a brother. This nigga crazy. And he a little nigga. He a little nigga. Little short nigga. That nigga take them bitches two at a time. No, sir. I say, boy, you wild man. Know your boy. Nah, no, you sir. gotta. It's, yeah, it's like one of them things, like, you have to bring it off, like, for a certain occasion. Like, you don't want to be dependent off the shit. No, nah, like I say, when you, you catch me, get that motherfucker that you, hey, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I've been wanting her. I've been wanting her. I know when I get her, yeah. Just gonna make her, just gonna make her go crazy. Pat watch. Yeah, she she gonna be she gonna be calling me like, what you doing? Where you at? Yeah, I need that. That's what's up, man. Uh what you had some other favorites? You just said one, Joe. Oh yeah. nah, you mentioned all the others. Honestly. All the others? Yeah. I wanna say my favorite song on the tape. My favorite song on the tape. Marathon is, and Smooth Operator was the other two for me. Oh yeah, my favorite song on the tape. Personally. Is elevated. That song mean a lot to me. Yeah, I made that song in the dark with my eyes closed. The beat just talked to me. I love that song. Yeah, and I like how it, it sounds. It's like a that was really gonna be the outro. Yeah, mm-hmm. but me and my um engineer went back and forth. Jacob, what made you um pick Sam's Club as the intro? Cause that's like not your average intro. I made it for the intro. Okay. Mm-hmm. I made it for the intro. Cause when I heard when I heard my so I originally posted my tape for mm. the twelfth. I pushed it back three days because I had to take it down and re upload it. Like when you make music with a tape, you can't just drop it the next day. This shit not like how people think. Like you could just make a song and you could just put it out. It's not mm. like that's locked to it. And then you gotta wait a certain amount of time so your music can make it to all the stores if you wanna release it on all platforms. Yeah. So um, I had to push it back three days because I had to end up taking it down because I didn't have an intro song. It was just straight into, into you see project, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I kind of wanted my shit to be, you know what I'm saying, like a nice body of work. I feel like I put together a good body of work, you know what I'm saying, with my uh, song selections and the order. The order of your music plays a lot into your tape. Right. You know what I'm saying? You want your songs to end and come on to the next song appropriately. You don't want no soft end and coming onto a soft song because right. it does your. The, the I feel attention. like yeah, I feel like the transitions is like one of the most important parts of a project. It's the most important part. You feel what I'm saying? It was that was the hardest thing for me, in picking my songs was the transitions. You feel me? So and that's what made me go make Sam's Club, and I already had that beat bought. I had got it for free. He sent it to me like, bro, you can have this beat. You got so many beats, bro. You know what I'm saying? He gave me 70 free beats yesterday. God damn. Yeah. 70. Yeah. That's a real nigga right there. Free. You don't have to pay for them, bro. It's good. Trust. Pick whichever ones you want for the next tape. Mm-hmm. I said, well, yeah, bro, you finna produce the whole tape. What, uh, what, um, what's like, well, you can go and name that producer. You ain't name him. Who's that producer? Oh, that's uh, Equinox. Equinox. No, that's so not Equinox. That's Excalibur. Excalibur. That's Excalibur. But I fuck with Equinox too, man. That boy cooking up. All yeah. right. What's your favorite producer you got to work with? Excalibur. Excalibur. And yeah. Skrilla. Screw. Oh, okay. uh, I got a, a producer named Skrilla the Hitman. He in Miami. He made um Florida beats. Yeah. I'm a Florida nigga. I like that Florida sound. Yeah. yeah. He made them Florida beats, you feel me? You know, top down music. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Salute, man. So you ever uh oh you know nah, you already said that. Do you fuck with like uh working down in Miami? Cause I feel like Hell the nah. ambiance down there is crazy. I feel it's like so I It's so hard make... to record in Miami. To stay focused? To record. What you mean? Cause you don't want to go to the fucking studio, you yeah. want to go to the beach, South to beach. the club, to the mall. <laughs> you don't want to go record. <laughs> Cause when I go record, I'm gonna be there. Like I ain't gonna, I'm never gonna like go to the studio and be able to sit there for a little bit or make one song. Right. When I go to the studio, I'm trying to down the record till I can't think no more. Yeah. Like when I go to the studio, the only reason I leave because the engineer trying to go. Mm. You feel me. That's why I learned how to record myself. Cause I don't be ready. I leave the studio and go back to my house and record. You feel me? But it's a different sound there that I like. So I just do the type of music that I like there. And then when I want to rap, uh, be my like mate. 
more of a tougher sounding music, I could do that at home. But for a softer sound, I gotta go to the studio. Cause I don't know, I don't know that much yet. All right. Okay, that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get into the next video, man. We're gonna do new plug. Hopefully the shit don't freeze. So uh, yeah, just play it. Give us a story behind the video. Honey Pats. <laughs> Literally, I'm at the studio. Let's shoot a video. All right, pull up. I'm at the O. We're gonna shoot that bitch in the back. You feel me? Joe called me like, hey, shit, we at the Zion Lounge. And we got 10 boxes of honey packs in here. I said, bitch, I'm pulling up. I'm coming dirty church, Wall Street. I got dividends. Saw that bitch, I've been a man. I ain't like your other man. Catch me in the city, popping shit. I got bubbles in. Dirty church got wholesale, nigga. I'm like Costco's. I get a nigga block clothes with this gym. Nigga, I got hella smoke, real smoke. All these niggas run me, I kill for for real. Jumping out that Benz with a 10 and a bag. I just spend a bag on a bag. She got real throat. Pulling on my spot with a nigga that's a no no. My trap jump like Poco. Got sauce for the low low. Her hell red like Rojo. My bitch got mad because her hell was black. I pop a honey pack off in the drill. I'm loaded for real. I'm heating up and I need to be chill. I need to keep rolling. He going off them pills. Got a plug on the side, about to send him in. I just send a shot for the bait, about to reel him in. If you need a plug in the bay, come and bring me 10. Call me during the church, Wall Street. I got dividends. Shot that bitch, I've been a man. I ain't like your other man. Catch me in the city, popping shit. I got bubbles in. Dirt church got wholesale, nigga. I'm like Costco. They be saying I got the clubs looking like we out of town. They be like, boy, you was in Jacksonville? Yeah, I'm about to say that. Get your pass off. Nigga, I like cancer. I'm spreading your weak. The screen. Run that nigga down on feet. Get away, get away. But you can see from this video. Police on the way, nigga. Get away. They got my cousin fucking sick. I love the transition. Thank God he got away. I'm more, I'm more active. I'm on a money race. These niggas steady being hoes. I'm a fuck his bait. She trying to get away. I got a game for my brother and my cousins. They pay the nigga away. So when a nigga blow the city, know they coming with me. Yeah, Kim visuals hard with the beats. Yeah, Kim Kim boy go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's my boy. <coughs> See, I'm gonna tell you, my. So, I feel like my videos getting way better. Oh yeah, definitely. Getting for sure. to, to them bitches getting better because yeah, for sure. I ain't know how to shoot videos, and I was seeing myself not know how to shoot videos. Not no, they was good because the cameraman is good, right. not because yeah. I shot a good video. But that new plug, that one you gave like way more energy. I yeah, shot a yeah. good video. Yeah. You feel me? It was yeah. energetic. I was because so it was. It's like stages with me with this shit. Right. Like at first, I had to learn how to rap. I knew how to rap, but I had to learn how to rap. Yeah. Then I had to learn how to teach myself how to rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? On my own. Then I had to learn how to record. And now I'm more so learning how to perform. You know what I'm saying? That's the stage I'm in, performance stage. Right. Because I know how I'm I'm recording every day, working on my craft, and I ain't doing nothing but getting better. But performing is what I need to work on the most. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm really an introvert in real life. Yeah. And I don't got a lot of friends, and I don't hang out. Right. I don't do shit. I sit home and play 2K all day. <laughs> I sit home, record, and play 2K all day. You be online with it? All day. You don't get whooped, not do it? Wreck. I only play wreck. I don't even play my career. Oh, game. gotcha. I got a 99. I got a 95 overall and a 99 overall. <laughs> and I don't yeah, play yeah, my yeah. career. I only play wreck. Yeah. Yes. To get a 95, you only play a wreck. You you play a lot. Niggas say he outside. <laughs> and I got two systems that I play on. Hold on. Did you buy some VC? Always. All right. I came yeah, in the game with niggas a, don't play I came in the game with a million VC. Yes. Nigga said nigga got the dual monitor <laughs> to play two different games. <laughs> nah, I just switch them over because I got two. I got um. So sometimes people be. I might have more friends on Xbox than I got on on PlayStation. I feel so that, I'm yeah. going well over the full squad at. Yeah. Exactly. I'm trying to That's why I don't friends. understand why niggas still be doing the console wars. I'm like, bro, we grown, bro. Just buy both systems. To be yeah, honest. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just buy, buy both, both systems, <laughs> bro. So much easier. Well, so much. Easier. Just a. A really a HDMI cord switch. Exactly. If you got two HDMI cords, just change the channel. Uh -huh. You feel me? It's way easier. 
I and I don't play PC as shit hard as fuck. Y'all ever try to play PC? Yeah, I got one. I don't really fuck with PC like that. Uh, you good at it? Nah, I try. I used to. I I play. I try to play 2K on PC like nah. one of the years. Like, and I don't like how niggas able to like hack shit. Like, you be playing a game where then somebody had like a ten foot tall Kobe with like long arms. Like, oh, they be doing into that. They be doing like dumb shit. I played Call of Duty on PC. See, yeah. they be cheating For on two that days. too. Nigga, I didn't get one kill. Yeah. I didn't get one kill. It's like I couldn't even shoot at them motherfuckers. You know, it's crazy. They you move know. so fast. PC, you were able to hack it. You was probably playing against somebody that got like a cheat on there with like invisible walls where they mm-hmm. just see you and just shoot you. Nah, them niggas was just killing me, bro. Man. I'm not good. I'm trash at that shit. So I don't play yeah. shooting games either. I'm ass at that. Oh, yeah. I play sports games for the most I part. I used to be nice. I ain't played a video game and God knows how long. <laughs> Man, shit, that shit relaxing, bro. Yeah, Amp brought the uh, PS4 up here for me to play and shit. I played that bit for like two weeks, like for an hour a day or so, you know what I mean? And it'd be cool, but shit. Yeah, it's relaxing. That bit been collecting dust you, since. You gotta have time for it, though. Yeah, that's it. Definitely. I ain't got no damn time. I play that it. shit. Man, I play that shit when I can, but when I do play it, I play it for a long ass time. That feels yeah, like Yeah, like people be slaying their video games. That shit therapeutic, man. It you really sit is. back in three hours, just like not think about shit, but Bro, the game. Video games Boy, made me smart as fuck. locked in on yeah. 2K. I swear to God, video <laughs> games made me so smart. And my, Bro, when I was a kid, I knew so much shit because of video games. Yeah. Oh, not because yeah. of school, not because teaching motherfuckers taught me, because what I seen on fucking playing video games. From motherfucking knowing how to build shit, knowing how to cook shit, right? Knowing how, just knowing shit from video games, bro. All different types of video games. Yeah, I be saying the same thing. I think I learned more from like video games, like YouTube, more than I ever learned from school. What? Twelve years. YouTube 30s. is school. Right. Hell yeah. YouTube is the new school. Anything I learned from like podcasting and recording shit, learn from YouTube. They finna make the kids stop going to school. Y'all ain't know that, did y'all? Nah, I wouldn't be shocked. They finna make it where they don't have to go to school. I can believe that. They pretty much doing like that after like COVID. They pretty much doing like the hybrid shit now anyway. Yeah. Where they do like half, half at home, half in school and shit. Man, I would have killed to go to school during the time like this, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who you telling? I mean, Everybody I have perfect attendance. Too, yeah. They wouldn't have no problems, bro. If school was like that all the way, you could just go to school three days a week. Yeah. Come on, man. They'll change the world like that. <laughs> oh, shit. I wasn't going to school anyway when I was at school. So yeah. You what? No, I was Me skipping either. all the time. Me either. I, damn, I bro. We school. did, bro. Fuck that shit. Fuck yeah, that man, school. I don't really fuck yeah. school like that, dog. No, every day. I used to fuck with my teachers, but I ain't fuck with the school. Yeah. My teachers was cool. They, they understood me. What high school you went to? First Coast. First Coast, man. I went to Darnell Cookman, though. I went to Darnell Cookman, sixth through ninth grade. Mm. But I couldn't do that shit like high school, bro. That shit was like. Yeah, Darnell Cookman. Oh, that shit was hard. Fuck that. My brother, he went to Darnell Cookman. His grades was crazy. They sent his ass to coast. Oh, yeah. You got to. It wasn't a grades for me. It was the motherfucking work load. It yeah, was doing, so much work, doing, like, bro. college work. Yeah. You doing high school work at a college level mm-hmm. type shit. So, like, how um in school you have a um presentation every day? wasn't like that. They give you your information at the beginning of the class and give you your work. Right. You do that shit. Yeah. You turn your shit in. When you're done, you do what the fuck you want to do. Mm-hmm. That's why I like the shit in middle school. Mm-hmm. When you got to high school and got older, fuck that. That's a hard uh, workload, yeah. Fuck that. I'm not with that shit. <laughs> Bro, I graduated. Send me the first coast, mama. I'm gonna go to first. I said, mom, I want to go to first coast. Yeah. <laughs> she said, hell no. Nah. You, you going back to Donnell Cookman? I said, right, I'm going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> I failed every one of these classes. Oh God! Yeah. I stopped doing all that work. Yeah, bro, I don't fuck with school, bro. I would have been, I would have all else at Darnell. Nah, they you kick my ass out. They ain't gonna let you make all else. That's the, That's why they such a good school. Yeah. And that's why they, um, school grade is so high. Cause they're not gonna let you make all else. They're yeah. gonna let you make the lowest good grade that you can, and then kick your ass out before yeah. you get to all else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get all. Cause they C's. don't want that reflected on their yeah school score. That's why you gotta maintain a certain grade point average and maintain a certain attendance record. Yeah. Yeah, I can't fuck with that shit, man. But uh, back to the music real quick, man. What you got next? I know you say you be working on a bunch of shit. I know you just dropped a project, but you are, I already know you know what's the next move. Man, you know what's crazy? I wanna drop this weekend. Another I, project? Yeah. <laughs> My engine never won't let me though. Why, why, why they stop me? Cause he said I'm giving him too much. 
I'm giving y'all too much. <laughs> I wouldn't say necessarily. Cause you just dropped the one. You just dropped the tape like a couple of days ago. I wouldn't say one this week, but yeah, give it a probably, few weeks. I would, let this one marinate a little bit. I'm gonna December, drop that bit. Uh, I'm gonna drop my tape 11 11. <laughs> November eleventh. Okay. I'm gonna drop my tape. Eleven eleven. <laughs> only drop, only drop the name. You uh, don't drop the name. Time, <laughs> 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 hey, I got straight viral shit. Yeah, I'm only doing shit to go viral, so it's gonna be. Now that could be good or bad, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna right. be good. It's gonna be good. But it's Six different nine. though. It's a whole nother sound. I might throw some more rap on that, but it's a whole other song. I got um, I really got, I really don't, I really can't drop the name though, cause I got two, I got two options right now. Yeah. But it's definitely gonna be groovy, for sure. It's gonna yeah. be something you y'all never expect. For really, sure. never I'm looking expect. forward to it. I know Joe looking forward to it too, man. Yeah, man, for sure. And the other Joe looking forward to, obviously. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear him on the mic. <laughs> But yeah, man. Uh, Joe, be, you got any more questions? Uh, nah, shit. For me, that's it. Hey, man, this was a good ass interview. How many interviews you did so far? First one. It's the first one. Yes, hey, sir. Man. Appreciate hey, man, y'all man. for having me, man. Young man is advanced, man. He killing it with the interviews, killing the music. Just started everything, man. Yes, sir. Uh, salute, man. salute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We appreciate you coming through, man. Yep, yes, sir. Yep, definitely yep. have to have you come back, man. Especially for sure. if you're dropping music crazy like man, that. Yeah, look. Like that. <laughs> oh yeah. November 11th for sure. I'm gonna drop a song tomorrow though. All right, bet, bet. I'm gonna drop bet. a. I'm gonna drop a single tomorrow. All right, man. And um, yeah. So yeah, man. I'll let you look into that camera, man. Plug all your social medias, everything. Man, y'all you add, shout out. Y'all add everything. me on Instagram at Dirty Church underscore underscore. Same thing on Twitter. Same thing on everything. You can find me on YouTube at Dirty Church TV. I need subscribers. Please subscribe. If you fuck with the content, please subscribe. I make content all the time. I'm gonna be uploading way more frequently. Um, new music on the way. Link in my bio got all my links to everything. My music is on all platforms, everything. And uh, next month it's gonna be on JPay too for uh, all y'all boys who gone. Got to do that for my boys who gone so they can Ooh, listen to it. Shit. Yeah, I've been working hard on that. That's most. That's real important to me. Yeah, I, for I sure. got cousins and shit who like though want to listen to my music. And they can't. Yeah. So I've been trying to get my shit on JPay for since I dropped. Yeah, it is on as many platforms as you can, pretty much. Yep, yep, yep. And y'all, um, pull up the Hollies. We got the best uh, wing dinners in Jacksonville. Go get them curly fries, man. Yes, sir. All right, man. It's been another episode. Of Random Acts of Podcast. Shout Super out to Random Acts of Podcast, man. Ampa Valley. Mr. J. Yes, sir. With all Joseph. that said. <laughs> <laughs> With all that said, man, we out. Yo.